Michael sold out his crew being that in his mind things got out of control to continue what he did and that it was for his family. He tried to be a family man but was bad at it along with many other things. I already talked about his biggest weakness though but his strength should be spoke on as well. It being a criminal mastermind. Now before he came out of retirement he tried to live a normal life years before the events of GTA 5 but things didn't go that way. He stayed to himself until he had a reason to react leading him into meeting Franklin. Other than his therapist, Franklin was the only person that he somewhat opens up to after he takes a liking to him. But before they ever had a regular conversation, Michael was extorted having to pay a large amount of money. During this, he mentioned how it was only one way he could make that kind of money, forcing him to do the same thing he tried to escape. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you alright? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, though. Finally, having time to conversate with Franklin, Michael would give him advice about moving on to when Franklin asked that he move on, with Michael saying he doesn't know, showing he didn't have any intentions on leaving behind his strength, even with him just being extorted to pay millions. Listen, kid, now listen close. If I could teach you one thing, just one thing, you know what that would be? Uh, uh, how to plan a job properly, how to stay calm, how to not regret mistakes. You gotta learn how to move on, because you will make mistakes. Hurt people, kill people, it happens. It's life, all of life, not just this life. But you gotta move on. That's the greatest skill, otherwise you might as well be dead yourself. And have you moved on? That I do not know. Moving on to when he actually does his first heist after retiring, we see his personality change. He's more stern and seen to have bravado. He directed the room telling them what to do before and when they actually get there, from his crew to the people in the store, including the security guy. All right, I want to say thanks for being a part of our little operation. We're all professionals, we all know the score. We're going to execute the plan, we're going to move quick, and we're going to keep cool. Anybody gets pinched. This meeting never took place. We don't know each other, is that clear? We're gonna hack in, disable security, and waltz right in through the front door. The security guard should be to our left. We neutralize him, 15 seconds later, you come in. I want extreme pressure applied to the staff. The customers are to be calmly subdued. I want one guy on crowd control while you and I empty out the merchandise from the cabinets. We're in and out in 90 seconds, guys. Franklin will handle your getaway. I'm leaving on foot. Any questions? Let's go. Go get the bikes. Let's go! Ready? Ah! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me ruin all the great work your plastic surgeons have been doing. On the floor, now! For the last time, move it. Now get the fuck out of my face. Oh. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. Call your gym guy, Lesty, baby, because we got merchandise. After it's done, we see how excited Michael was succeeding. Although he did this because he was extorted, he left with a good amount of money for himself, giving him more reason to be happy with this. Because when he wasn't pulling scores, things wasn't the best for him. All right, people. We need to split up. They're going to be looking for a crew. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. But the one good thing he's good at will cause Trevor to find him on top of being extorted by the FIB. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, 
if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well, then we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. Later, Michael meets Steve Haynes to when he will say this about Michael. This showed that Steve acknowledged Michael's strength and knows his capabilities as far as getting what he wanted done. Mind you, Michael was supposed to just live a normal life at this point. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this, and that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can teach an old dog new tricks. During this, Michael family separated from him, along with the FIB having Michael and the two do a heist. In this heist, no resources are given to them to act this out, but Michael will come up with a plan in a matter of seconds. He even thanks himself after explaining to Trevor and Franklin what to do. I cannot allocate any more resources to this. You'll be fine. Fuck you, Dave. Nice work, Slick. We're gonna be doing pat downs at the airport before those fucking clowns are done with us. You know, fuck you. Hey, hey, look, man. It is what it is. Now, how the fuck we gonna get this done? I don't know. I got it. Classic blitz play. It's an industrial area, right? So I'm thinking vehicles. Trash truck the block, tow truck sack them. Get some disguises, and we're going. We just gotta hope like hell these are the kind of agency men that don't carry a panic button with them. If they are, we deal with it. If and when. If and motherfucking when. Thank you, Michael. Hey, no problem. No, really. When they actually do this heist, Michael again tells everyone their role. Franklin trusted Michael's word being that he knows Michael knows what he's doing. Michael at this point is so comfortable at doing jobs like this, instead of a traditional mask, he buys movie masks. Hey. hey. All right. So, listen up. Here's the plan. Hey, right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Yeah, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be right here, in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley, in a tow truck. Hope is, they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. After the hit, we blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes guy. When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here, on your post, eyes peeled. Yeah. Okay. We'll take the risk. Sound cool? She a true professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go, go. After the heist, he meets with Devin Weston. Devin gives him a proposition, but he wanted to be sure Michael was involved. This shows even a billionaire that can have anything knew that Michael was capable of with getting things done. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. That was great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 no. I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. Even the same guy that extorted Michael kept him in his back pocket after he was paid back since he knew how he got it. But it would cost Michael being that he brought Trevor, forcing him to leave town. Now being in Blaine County, they would do another heist to fund a raid. Although he didn't plan this, it got done. After this, another job is done. After Michael and Trevor does this, he would promise him a heist they planned in the past, in exchange of what they took. During this, Michael says how it's good to be back in his old profession, showing although he's been used for the robberies he done recently, he still enjoys it. You give me that case, I'll give you something bigger. Union Depository. Fuck off. Can't be done. I never said impossible. Verging suicidal? That a line you're afraid to cross? You remember the dreams? 
you and me together again. With Lester and Franklin on board, we can do this thing, T. This ain't no dream no more. You keep the case. Fuck me. Okay, hey! All right. Here. Keep that silly fucking thing. Thank you. Just remember, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you every inch of the way. But hey, it's great to be back in business, huh? Let's bring it on. The big one! The big one! After that job is done, he does another job, making it be three successful robberies he does when he's supposed to be laying low. Now being back in Los Santos, they plan a robbery for the Union Depository, but it'd be quickly be put on hold after Trevor figured out what he was hiding. But before this, he talks about how the Union Depository will be his last heist he does. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back. No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. Michael going to stop Trevor will lead him into being kidnapped to when he gets saved by Franklin. But for Michael, it will be back to business after Steve and Dave have him plan to raid the FIB headquarters. Before they act out on this, Lester will mention how he got off lightly with everything he did. What the fuck ever happened to Barry in the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. Seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, this is the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the, uh, the murders and the, and, and the thefts and... All right. This straight talk and new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. Now after the raid, Michael was under the impression that he was done doing work for the FIB, but they saw Michael as a loose end. Luckily for Michael, Trevor tracked down Michael saving him, the reason being that he wanted to rob the Union Depository still, being that he wouldn't dare do it without Michael. He needed Michael to take the lead in the last heist. But we still need you alive, Mikey boy. I mean, you know, at least for now. Listen, Trevor, listen, I've been meaning to... Uh, you know, I've been meaning to... I've been meaning to tell you, you know, I've been... What, homie? What have you been meaning to tell me, huh? That you stabbed me in the back, or that you were, and always will be, a worthless wretch who deserves to be put under. Yeah, well, no, what the fuck, fuck did you day? come back for? Oh, you know why. One last score. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess it's on then. Yeah, I guess it is. Call Lester. Let's go. On speakerphone. Hey, it's me. I know. How'd it go? Just fabulous. Ran into an old friend. Matter of fact, he saved my ass. He wants to, uh, still go on the final victory tour. All right. There. You happy? Fucking thrilled. Don't forget, amigo. Keep my eye on you. After this, they all pull off the biggest robbery in the rest is history. Michael tried to change who he was, but when he had to go back to his past ways, it showed exactly how advanced he was in doing things like hits and heist. Notice when Franklin and Trevor do things without Michael, it doesn't go well, making his biggest strength a criminal mastermind. 